Hi, I'm Jeremy Waxman, uh, speaking from Demagi, and I just wanted to share a little bit about one of my favorite features uh, in Calm Care, form display conditions. So I'm going to walk through an example of how you might use form display conditions, and then show you how to do the configuration on Calm Care ATQ. So here I have a, a basic Calm Care app, and I've already logged in, so I'm going to click through here. Um, three different menus. I'm going to go to the mothers list. Uh, and so you can see in this case list, I have four cases, some of which are pregnant and some of which are not. You can see that indicated on the right side of the screen uh, where the pregnant cases are uh, have a green icon and the cases that are not currently pregnant have a gray icon. And so you may have uh, instances where for different uh, different cases, you want to see different sets of forms. For example, you may have a follow-up form that's meant for pregnancy follow-up, and you wouldn't want uh, to fill out that form for a woman who's not pregnant. So just to show you what this looks like in practice, if I go to the top case, Amy, uh, which is a case that is pregnant, you see I have two forms here, a follow-up form and a counseling form. But if I go back and instead choose Mary, who is not pregnant, then I only have one form. The follow-up form, um, based upon the case property for pregnancy, is not uh, preventing that form from showing up. And so this is great for supporting your users and adhering to, to different types of workflows. And you can imagine there's lots of variations on this where you can unlock forms based on case properties over time and, uh, and things like that. I'm going to uh, hop over into ComCreateHQ just to show you how this is set up. So I'm here on the configuration page for the follow-up form. And if you scroll down on the settings tab, you'll see that there is a, a block here to add a display condition. And so you're going to use the case syntax, so hashtag case. Then you're going to type the name of the case property. So in this case, it's pregnant. And then you'll specify the value of the case property um, for which the form should show up. So here I'm saying if the case property pregnant equals yes, then this form should be displayed for that case. And that's that's really all there is to it. Um, once you type in the syntax, you can test it out, and you'll be able to display forms based on the value of different case properties. There's also some uh, advanced workflows or different applications of display conditions on forms or even on menus that you can use, which go beyond just looking at cases and have to do with um, user properties. So let's show an example of that. I'm going to hop back to the app just for a second. So here I am on, um, on the menu screen again. And here, are, again, those three menus, and one of them being the supervision module menu. So I click on, click on that. Um, what you can do here is you can not just reference information about the, the case, but about the, the user. Uh, so you can do that using uh, custom user data or user as a case. The, there's further information on those on, on the help site. But once you get those set up, you can refer to those user level properties as well. So for example, you may want uh, certain users who are supervisors to be able to see certain menus or certain forms. So if I'm logged in here, um, and go through any case. In this particular instance, I'm logged in as a supervisor. The mobile work I'm in, uh, logged in with is a supervisor, so I can see this uh, form here, as well as this uh, menu. But if I log in instead with a different, uh, a different user who's not a supervisor, then this menu would be removed from the, the list here. And so let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to log out from Nick and instead log in as Anne. Right. So now you can see that that whole men, uh, menu is not visible anymore, just based on the different user that I logged in with. The configuration for that on Comcure HQ is very similar. So if I go to the supervision menu here, um, and this it could be applicable either to the form or to the menu, uh, you can specify a display condition, just like we did for the, the case. Here, the syntax is a little bit different. So we use the 
hashtag user uh, to tell Comcare we're talking about the user. Then we'll type in the name of the property and the value that we want in order for the um, that menu or that form to be displayed. Thanks so much. Hope you find some good use for menu and form uh, display conditions.